Space is a busy place these days, and something big is headed our way. An asteroid will pass near Earth. Now, before you get nervous, no, it won't have any impact, but it will be a great learning experience for NASA and for us. Let's start by explaining the differences between various space rocks. The term asteroid describes a small body orbiting the sun. If a piece of rock breaks off of that, we call it a meteoroid. Now, if that meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere, we call it a meteor. And on the rare occasion that meteor lands on Earth, it's called a meteorite. And most visible shooting stars are only the size of a grain of sand. So let's put this asteroid into perspective. The moon is 239,000 miles away from Earth. And this asteroid, named 2012 TC4, will fly past Earth around 30,000 miles away. It is between 30 to 100 feet long and is moving about 30,000 miles per hour. To really put that into perspective, our weather satellites, like the GOES-16, hover around 22,300 miles away. But what if this asteroid did enter Earth's atmosphere? It would be similar in size to a meteor which flew over Chelyabinsk, Russia in 2013. That meteor blew out windows of buildings in six cities causing thousands of injuries. Impact would be equal to 20 atomic bombs and it could cause a tsunami if it landed in a large body of water. This asteroid won't do any of that, but its close path will give NASA a shot to track and characterize it in hopes of predicting future impactors. So can you see it? It cannot be seen with the naked eye, but experienced observers with a telescope and tracking software may be able to spot it. For WHS 11, I'm meteorologist Caitlin Fish.